but basically these little strakes will go on the bottom of the splitter and protect the factory plastic unit, which is quite expensive. What's up guys, it is Eric from Varus Engineering and today we are doing another install on our GT350R. We've been asked from a few customers to protect the front bumper from hitting the ground. And basically this is a result of A, the car actually having a somewhat front splitter from the factory and B, the car sitting somewhat low to the ground for a factory vehicle. This is great things for performance, but during day-to-day -day activities or driving in and out of uh, driveways, curbs, that type of stuff, you do sometimes hit the bottom. Uh, I remember the first time we were going out to the track, I was driving our, our van and uh, Josie was actually driving the car and exiting a gas station, he slammed the car, just absolutely demolished the front end exiting the gas station. Uh, we heard it from about 100 yards away. It was awesome, not really, but Way to go, Josie, proud of you. Anyway, we came up with um, a quick little solution. So these are cut from our poly weave sheet that we use for front splitters. It is a uh, 12 millimeter thick. It is a carbon thermoplastic, so it is abrasive resistant and uh, pretty damn strong and stiff. But basically these little strakes will go on the bottom of the splitter and protect the factory plastic unit, which is quite expensive. Um, it's going to install pretty easily. We're going to basically drill a few holes, install some rivet nuts, and then bolt these on from the bottom. Uh, we have templates included on that. Now, if you tend to go through these really quickly, they are the exact shape and size of our titanium units. These are less expensive to produce. These should last quite a while, but if you seem to be going through them, you can upgrade to the titanium units. The only thing would be you have to bolt it from the top instead of bolting it from the bottom. So there is that option. For the install manual, I'm gonna go quickly over the tools required for install, and then I'm gonna go over the kit components and then we'll go through the install. Uh, I would budget about half an hour. Um, probably most of the time is gonna be jacking up the car, but realistically, the install is really simple. Let's get to it. All right, as far as kit components, we have, we'll have four of these strakes. We have a template for drilling holes, and then we have some M4 hardware that includes aluminum rivet nuts and an M4 rivet nut install tool. All right, so off screen, we have cut out the, um, we cut out the template real quick, and then we used some painter's tape to install it briefly. As you can tell, it's not sticking very well, but it only needs to be briefly installed on there. And then you can notice that we have four holes that we'll need to drill, and ultimately we'll need to drill to a quarter inch so I'm gonna drill it to quarter inch um, right away, but um, you can also start with like a, an eighth inch or a center punch and then go from there. But it goes through plastic pretty easily, so. All right, and then the holes are basically made, so we'll pull off the template. And now it's time to install the rivet nuts. There are two ways to install rivet nuts. This is a rivet nut install tool. This is what is not included in the kit. We have a smaller and more portable rivet nut install tool. This is what's included. If you have one of these, you likely know how to use it and that's the easier method to install rivet nuts. So I'm only gonna go over how to use this, which uses a 916 wrench on the hex and a three millimeter Allen wrench on the socket head. To install this, we're going to throw it up into the hole. We're gonna use the wrench to, sta to, to hold the nut stationary and then use the Allen wrench to actually tighten the rivet nut into the plastic. Now for a little while, it'll go easy and then all of a sudden you get a decent bit of resistance. That's when you stop. Back it off, drop the Allen wrench, and then the rivet nut is installed. Now repeat that three more times. I'm gonna finish it off with the easier tool because I have it. 
And if you're using this, basically you do the same thing, throw it up in there. And then you can compress the rivet nut just like that. And then it's done. And you can feel once again, it gets, it gets quite a bit more resistance and stop right there. All right, so the four rivet nuts are installed into the chassis, and now we can install the polyweave strakes onto the underbody. All right, so we have the polyweave strakes, we have some M4 hardware, and then we have a two and a half millimeter Allen wrench. Got the hardware and the counter board side. Counter bore, not counter bore. So obviously the hardware goes into the counter bore and then we can install it onto the car. Now, if you did everything correctly, it should bolt up no problem. The template is correct. So if it doesn't bolt up correctly, the drill bit walked or you marked it incorrectly somehow, I don't know, but um, I've installed three and I'm about to install the fourth and not a single one did not install correctly. So ultimately that is up to you to do it correctly. Um, but yeah, so at this point it's basically installed. Um, don't go crazy as far as torque on these guys. Um, you're looking at, I don't know, a few foot pounds. I don't even know if I'm going to use the, I'll probably use the long side of the Allen wrench, but Right now I'm just getting it in with the short side, uh, not using much torque at all. The, the rivet nuts are aluminum and uh, they could start spinning on the plastics. Just, just be wary of it. Um, they're not seeing any load, so it's not a big deal. So we're, we'll go with the, with the long side for a little bit and then maybe do like a, an eighth of a turn and call that good. It's not gonna fall off and it should protect your splitter a bit at that point. All right, guys, that concludes the install on our front splitter strake guards, I guess we'll call them. May come up with something more catchy. I don't know, we haven't released them yet. But we do have them and they should protect the splitter significantly more than nothing else there. I know there is some competition out there as far as splitter guards um, and they go along the front leading edge be wary of those, they could actually hurt performance as far as aerodynamic performance. When you drop that front lower, it may actually hinder the aerodynamic, aerodynamic forces that the front splitter is generating. Now, the strakes that we've developed are a specific NACA profile that do not increase drag, and if anything, it will actually increase downforce slightly. So. The, the strakes that we're adding are one, protective, and two, do not hinder the performance of the front splitter at all. Uh, once again, if you for some reason are going through these poly weave strakes left and right, they will, f the titanium skid veins that we produce will bolt on, you just have to bolt them on from the top. So you'd have to take off the front splitter and then bolt it on from the top with a button head cap screw. And that's a, another viable option. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this quick little install and uh, please, please leave any comments, questions below in, on YouTube or Facebook and hit us up via email if you have any questions and comments or the like. If you have any suggestions on GT350R products, we still have quite a bit to release as far as what we've already developed. But if you guys have any suggestions on something that we should look into, don't ever hesitate to let us know and we can look into it. Once we have a shop car, it's a lot easier for us to look into problems than without shop cars. Till next time.